chosen ones. It's cheap wells with them. Them are you which are the chosen ones, baby. I'm chosen to serve the chosen ones. Hey, look, chosen ones. You ain't got to wait till the situation get better for God to bless you. God will bless you until the situation get better. So stop putting your dreams and your desires off to the side. Stop waiting till the most ideal situation in your mind comes to pass. And then you can receive and accept what God is trying to give you right now. In the midst of the drama. You feel me? You ain't got to wait. And not one story in the scripts does God wait for things to get better before he blesses an individual. It's always in the midst of the turbulence. It's always in the midst of the problems. It's always in the midst of adversity. People going up against his people. That's when God can show off in the midst of your problems and your situation. So don't be discouraged. Don't be, you know, embarrassed of what you're going through. That shit don't mean nothing. It doesn't mean anything. Because that's actually an opportunity for God to bless you. Because now you have given God a situation and circumstances that he can step in on your behalf and bless you. In front of the people that's going up against you. In front of the people don't want to see you have the things that you supposed to have. Because people get a hunch on, on, on off of the spirit of who you are, what you are, and what you're headed towards. All things have been made known to man. Even though people deny it, people deny your greatness, people deny your truthness, people deny who you are, but it already been made known to them. They're just in denial. But don't wait until the situation, until the circumstances is getting better before you start doing the very thing that your heart desires for you to do. Do it now because in the midst of you doing, in the midst of the problems, God is going to bless you in the middle. And he's going to keep blessing you until that situation gets better. So stop allowing what you're going through right now to stop you from doing, being, and having the things that you desire, the things God put on your heart. If God told you to do something right now, don't worry about how you're going to pay for it, how this is going to happen. Step out on faith because now that's an opportunity for God to show you his might, his power, his dominancy in your life. That's when miracles happen. When you step out on faith and you ain't got the bread and you like, Lord, I don't know how this is going to happen, dog, but shoot, look, hey. Man, it, it's and it's like once you get that ball rolling, it's hard to come out of it because you got so much energy and faith tied up into that thing that the ball is just, it's gonna become second nature to you. Okay, yeah, I might not got it now, but watch me get it. I'm watch me jump out here and make it happen. Watch how God bless me with the very thing I need in that moment to continue to take the next step, that next step, that next step. That's how it works. It's not no. Well, I'm going to wait right, right here for everything to get how I want it. And then God going to bless me. Then I'm going to just skip all these steps. No. Take those steps. Take the first step. Okay, you might not have it, but take that first step. God going to bless you once you get there. But this is just a little quick message, y'all. Y'all ain't got to wait. You ain't got to wait. You ain't got to wait. God said, let there be light. In the midst of darkness. He didn't wait for the light to come. He spoke the light into existence in the midst of the darkness. God is going to speak life in the midst of your darkness. In the midst of you going through what you're going through. You feel me? Look, I'm out here saving folks. I got my Superman cape on. My do-rag Superman cape. Look here. We saving folks in the midst of my own problems. Listen, I'm, I'm, dropping, I'm dropping encouragement. For others, you feel me? I ain't waiting for my situation to get better. I ain't waiting for my circumstances to change. I'm doing it now. Because God has kept me. You feel me? So y'all need to do the same. Whatever your God has called y'all to. Whether it's, you know, speaking to others, helping others, whatever it is. Do it. In the midst of you going through what you're going through. Because in that process, God is going to bless you. And he's going to keep you. And he's going to bless you until the mess get better. Y'all know what it is. G. Wells with them. Let's go.